Lights off or on? Yeah. Lights off or on? I'm Korean, I'm Korean. All right. Lights on or off? Okay. See, he, he, he cares. Okay. Well, if somebody cares, there you go. That's what they can do. All right. So here is the final project, okay, and how I did it. So uh, I import these different things, okay. I have a public class tic-tac-toe, which extends JFrame. I have a mainframe in there. Uh, I make a random number so that uh, it makes a random number between 0 and 1, which determines which players to go first. Uh, I have a variable which uh, keeps track of whose player it is, whose player's turn it is. I have an array of buttons, a 2D array of buttons, and these are their labels. So if I run the program, it looks like this, okay? Uh, in there, I have kind of the usual stuff. Mainframe, new frame, blah, blah, this is tic-tac-toe. I have a container, I'm using grid layout, and then I use a loop to add all the buttons to my canvas, or the, what do you call it, the content pane, okay? After that, I set the size of the thing to this, and then after that, I add the, uh, closing event, right, so that we know what to do when I hit the close button. Then I have a buttons handler, which is just one class. I use the same loop that I used to add all the buttons to the canvas so that I can add the window listener. Uh, make the window visible. And then this is my inner class, which implements action listener, which is going to listen to uh, if something happens. Okay, so what I have is, I have a couple of pictures in here, uh, which I created. They're really high tech, and I used a, a lot of digital media skills and artistry. Is that a word? So that I can make these. They're really hard to make. Okay, so don't try this at, at home. You might hurt yourself. Okay, so you have the X and the O, right? X, O, and then whoever wins, if it wins, the program just closes, okay? And yes, you're playing against yourself. So how does this thing work? You have public void action performed. This is the method that is going to listen to any, any event that happens to these buttons up here, okay? So what happens is I have a couple of counter variables. I use this kind of the same loop that I have here to go through all the buttons, right? And if E get source is equal to any one of these buttons, I pretty much store the I and the J into these two variables so that it knows which, part, which particular button was clicked. After that happens, then I have to just check for the winner, right? So this here is to find out which button was clicked. I store the numbers of the button into counter I and counter J. And then what I gotta do is, uh, I gotta find the winner, okay? So if XO, remember XO is the variable that keeps track of whose player's turn it is. So if it's equal to one, then it's X's turn. So, and I use icons, right? So I have some icons in there to, uh, right? This is, this is my picture file, right? And if I go to, let me go to my download so you can see them. Downloads, maybe desktop. There you go. Right. So it's just there. Are two. If you if you don't want to use Eclipse to do this, basically yeah, you can do it from the command line. Eclipse will be nicer. It, there are two PNG files, right, that are in the same place as your tic tac toe Java, right. If you're going to do this in Eclipse, make sure that these files are right in here, okay. Uh, it's not going to work if you put the files inside the default package. So you kind of have to play around and move them around. That's what I had to do. I think it's under the source. Is it source? No, it's outside of the source file too. Right? So they're right in there. The two files, basically, if I go in there and I delete them. All right, delete. And let's see if I can drag and drop them right in there so you can see where it goes. All right? These are the two files. And all I did was really is just I, I opened up like paint I drew a circle and I drew an X and that was it and this is the file that's all the rest okay
So then I'm just going to grab these two files that I created. I'm going to drag and drop them right in there. Ooh, that doesn't work. Right in here. Copy. Yeah, there you go. That's where they go. So drop them, drag and drop them straight into this folder right here on the top. Your Java file, the tic tac toe, is inside the default package. And then these other ones are just there, right? If they're not there, then Eclipse is not going to be able to find them. If you're having figure, if you're having issues with this, just put everything into one folder and then just do it from the command line, maybe. Okay. And again, you don't have to use pictures, but the pictures are just a nice little touch so that something else shows when you click these buttons. Okay. All right. So this this thing checks the player turn. This here uses the counter I, counter J, which are basically just the numbers for which button was clicked. Okay? So what this thing does here is it checks to see if the icon and if either of any of these buttons is no. When would the icon be no? When I haven't set a picture as a background. Okay, if, this, if it is like this, then it, the icon is equal to no. Okay? Or so basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that if the button was clicked and you click it again, you can't change it, right? So basically if it's this player's turn and we haven't already set it to something else, then you're going to set, then you're going to set it to the other player's name, right? So as soon as I click the button, the player turn changes, right? So if it's XO, uh, if XO is equal to one, then it's player X's turn. If I can click a button and change it, right, then it will change the, the other player's turn. If I cannot change the icon, it's not going to change the, it's, it is not going to change the player's turn. Okay? So, if this is true, so basically if the icon, so let's, now, now let's say, so now it's the other player's turn, right? So XO is equal to O, right? So now it's the other player's turn. Okay? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to check to see again if the icon is not equal to no. Let's say this one here. Icon is is not equal to no, right? If it is equal to no, I can I can do this, right? Or if it's not equal to x. So, is this is this here equal to no? No. But it is equal to x. So, this this piece here is true. So that means even though that it's this player's turn, I can't click this button, right? I'm trying to change it back to, to an O and it's not going to work because I have already set it to this, okay? But if I go to this button right here, then the icon is equal to no, right? And, or this other one, this one is not true, right? So then I can click this one and then it becomes an O, right? And as soon as I can change, this is by the way how I change the icon. Right, so I'm doing two things when I can when I can change that when I'm changing the icon. First, I'm setting the icon to this picture, which is this file right here, and the next thing is I'm erasing the text that I gave these buttons originally when I cons when I did the the thing up here, right there. Right, so this is the original text of the buttons. Okay. All right, so this is just to be able to change change the buttons. Right, so if 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 this thing hasn't been ch if this thing hasn't been clicked already, right? And it's empty, you can change it. Okay? So that's what th that's what this piece here does. And then the next thing is basically just checking the winners. Okay? How are we going to check the winners? Uh we're going to look at uh All right. So this this year I had to do this piece right here so that the next of it works. Otherwise it was giving me like a no pointer exception and all that stuff, right? So this is not, this is not the part that finds the winner. Uh, and this here, this piece, this one checks to see if all icons are the same, right? So how do I get the, the text? So this here, this here lets you, uh, oh, and by the way, this piece here lets me to see, lets me check to see the winners by rows. So I'm checking to see if these here are the same. Right? That's why I have this dash 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 this way. Okay? So 
this here is going to check the winners by rows. If all the icons, I can pull the string of the icon name. So if I get, if I do a button name, get icon to string, then it's going to give me the file name. Basically, it pulls the o.png. Okay? So if they're all the same, then that means we have a horizontal winner. And you're going to give them a, a message like x wins, and then the program exits. Okay? Uh, so if if all the icons are the same if all the icons are the same and the icon is x png then x wins and the extra the program otherwise if the icon is equal to 0 o png then o wins exit the program so this is to check the winner by rows the next thing to do is check to see the winner by columns so now we're checking the vertical right so I checked the row, the, 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 the rows, now I'm checking columns, okay? So I'm checking to see vertically, okay? So it's basically kind of the same thing. I'm using a loop. I'm using a, a single loop, which changes just the first index of my 2D array, okay? I'm going to do a similar thing for the other one. I'm going to, ke I'm going to keep this one fixed. Right, so this one again is just so I don't get the no pointer exception. If you figure out how to do it without this, go ahead. Okay, uh, but then what I'm going to do is I'm checking to see if the icons are all the same. If the if the icons vertically are all the same, that's this piece. Okay, so if the icons are all the same and uh, the icons, any of these icons, I'm just picking one of them. Right, is equal to x png, then x wins. And otherwise, if the icon is equal to O PNG, then O the O wins, right? Okay. So this is this is the part where I could use loops. And then after that I just go manually and check check diagonally. So I have I have two di 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Diagonal. The two diagonals, right? Perfect. One is one is this way, as you can see the picture there, right? One is the this diagonal. So I'm checking to see if this is the same as this, and which is, and it's the same as that, right? So I'm checking to see this, 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 this. If these are all the same, and right, so if these if these three icons are all the same here, and any of them is equal to x png, then x wins. Otherwise, o wins, right? That is to check for this diagonal, okay? And by the way, if you're not using pictures. All you got to do is just pull the text of the button, right? You can you can get the text of the button, this this original text right here. Instead of you don't you're not required to use pictures. So, you know, this is this get icon business not equal to no all that stuff. You don't have to do this if you're using simple text. What you can do is you can just simply change the the text of the buttons to x and o. Then you don't have to change you don't have to deal with pictures. If you don't want to deal with pictures, that's fine with me. Okay? So this is the diagonal this way, okay? And then I have to go and do another diagonal check, right? Again, this first piece here is so that I don't get the no pointer exception because I kept getting it without it, and I just figure out, there you go, let me brute force my solution in there, okay? So this here, I'm checking to see if the icons in the other diagonal, going the other way, right? If this is equal to this, this, and this. If these are all the same, right? That's this piece of code right here, right? If they're all the same, and then inside this I have another if. If any of them are equal to x, then you tell it x wins, exit the program, and otherwise you tell it o wins, exit the program, and that's it. Then you just have a public static void main, you, you create a new constructor, when you have a new constructor that gets this thing going here and then that's it any questions okay so just again this is this is the whole program from top to bottom for your viewing pleasure okay if you have any questions you let me know uh, yeah, and you don't have to use pictures. You can just change the text of the buttons. And uh, yeah, that's all there is. So this here is worth 
15% of your grade. So without this project, you don't get an A. So I strongly suggest you do this so you can get an A. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's, the whole, that's the whole program. I've seen it done in less lines of code than this. Uh, basically, the better you are at programming, the, 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 the shorter the code is going to be. I had one student write this thing one time with 2,000 lines of code. Right? That's probably what Marisa is doing. Okay? But I'm making it a computer. Yeah, Marissa is a genius, so she's going to do an AI. So more, more power to you, right? So if you, if you really want to impress me, you can make this so that the computer, you don't play against yourself like I just did, right? If you really want to, you can do, uh, make it so that you're playing against the computer. The first step to doing this is just have it randomly pick an empty spot, right? The next step would be in complication would be, okay, now try to have it so that it blocks you. When you have three in, a, three in a row, it tries to block you. The next step after that is it tries to beat you. That will be the most complicated one, right? And then figuring out which, where to place the X and the O most efficiently, that's, I guess, bonus points, okay? If you want to make it even more complicated, make it an online multiplayer game or something like that. All right, and that's it. How would you, how would you just only put the symbols of X and O's instead of an image? You just do the. You just tell it to like set the text. Yes. The so you look, like for example, if I go, if I just get the button, let me just copy this thing here, and that's why eclipses your friend. Let me just paste it right in there, like that, and I do s enter. I mean, not enter. This thing lists automatically everything for you. I just go set most likely text or something and there it is oh. and that changes the text okay. yeah so you can just change the button instead of using icons in here you get the you set the text of the button to something else just make sure you can't change it if it's an X you, if, if, it, if it has already been clicked you cannot change the button to anything else right be careful so that if you click it it doesn't change the turn also because sometimes I've seen this the, the button itself doesn't change, but it actually, let's say, let's say I have this situation. I run this thing. Uh, let me cancel this thing. Oh, by the way, there's a set text, right, to, to change this thing. Set, set, text, right? And there's also get text. Let me do this. Dot, get, text. That will pull the text of the button. So the text of the button is either going to be one of these numbers originally, like this, or it's going to be an X or an O. So for simplicity's sake, if you're going to use texts, uh, I, would, I wouldn't use these, this like that. I mean, I did this so that it's easier for me to see what the numbers of my buttons are. Okay? I have another error. Let me fix the error. Oh, well, I won't even fix it, but okay. Here, here, let me show you what I would do. Where's the error? Here. All right? If I'm going to use set text, get text, what I would do is I would just leave these as blank. That way, if a button hasn't been clicked, the text is nothing. Or you can put like a little space. All right? If. All right? So you can do it this way. Space and then it changes to an X. You can do a space, yeah. You could do all of them as spaces. That would be the easiest. Just keep in track, maybe write on a piece of paper or something, which button number is what. So that the reason I wrote these numbers here is because it makes it easier for me to figure out the, the winners after that. Remember when I do the diagonal stuff? Where's the diagonal? See? Zero, zero is that top left corner. The one, one is the middle button. The two, two is the bottom right button. Okay? But if you're going to be using text, it will be easiest thing is just to make these spaces like that. But just write on a piece of paper, okay, this one here is the zero, 0, This one is the zero, 1. This one is the zero, 2. Right? This, is, this one here is the one, 1. This one is the one, 2. This one is the two, zero. This one is the two, 1. This one is the two, 2. Right? But then if you do it like this, then it will look like that. 
right? And that's okay, you can do that too, right? The, actually, my game's gonna work that way too, okay? So, that's it, yeah? So, now you know, I hope this helps. Uh, if you get stuck on it, send me questions, okay? So that's uh that's it. Instead of doing one through nine, I did zero through eight because that's like an index. Okay, that works too. Okay, all right. I'm so smooth. You are so smart, Marissa. I said smooth. But okay. And and smooth and smart both both simultaneously. <laughs>